we cannot deny the impression that humans generally use wrong standards. They seek strength, success and wealth for themselves, praise themselves before others and they look down on what is truly valuable in life. Sigmund Freud Mother and child are said to be pure love, because a man's love for a woman and vice versa, no matter how subtle the wording is, the meaning is only one, namely lust. Sigmund Freud Religion is just an illusion and it derives its strength from the fact that humans instinctively desire it. Sigmund Freud We never feel so helpless with pain, except when it comes to love. Sigmund Freud Love is basically a life instinct, or what the Greeks called eros. Eros is what binds things together, and binds them in a way that leads to something alive or new. Sigmund Freud the big question that I can't answer even though I study women's soul for 30 years is, what a woman wants? Sigmund Freud The dog loves his friends and bits his enemies, unlike humans, who are unable to have pure love and always have to mix love and hate. Sigmund Freud The price we pay for our advance in civilization is a loss of happiness through the heightening of the sense of guilt. Beauty has no obvious use, nor is there any clear cultural necessity for it. Yet civilization could not do without it, humor is a means of obtaining pleasure in spite of the distressing effects that interface with it. Neurotics complain of their illness, but they make the most of it, and when it comes to taking it away from them they will defend it like a lioness her young. There is an intellectual function in us which demands unity, connection and intelligibility from any material, whether of perception or thought, that comes within its grasp, and if, as a result of special circumstances, it is unable to establish a true connection, it does not hesitate to fabricate a false one. There is an intellectual function in us which demands unity, connection and intelligibility from any material, whether of perception or thought, that comes within its grasp, and if, as a result of special circumstances, it is unable to establish a true connection, it does not hesitate to fabricate a false one. There is a psychological technique which makes it possible to interpret dreams, and, if that procedure is employed, every dream reveals itself as a psychical structure which has a meaning and which can be inserted at an assignable point in the mental activities of waking life. Religion is the process of unconscious wish fulfillment, where, for certain people, if the process did not take place it would put them in self-danger of coming to mental harm, being unable to cope with the idea of a godless, purposeless life. What good to us is a long life if it is difficult and barren of joys, and if it is so full of misery that we can only welcome death as a deliverer. Neither in my private life nor in my writings, have I ever made a secret of being an out-and-out -out unbeliever. The ego refuses to be distressed by the provocations of reality, to let itself be compelled to suffer. It insists that it cannot be affected by the traumas of the external world, it shows, in fact that such traumas are no more than occasions for it to gain pleasure, only a rebuke that has something in it will sting, will have the power to stir our feelings, not the other sort, as we know. We know that the great majority of people have a strong need for authority which it can admire, to which it can submit, and which dominates and sometimes even ill-treats it. Perhaps the gods have been kind to us, making life more unpleasant as we get older. Ultimately death seems less tolerable than the multiple burdens we carry, Sigmund Freud. The only person you should compare yourself to is you in the past. And the only person better than you, here you are now. Sigmund Freud, properly speaking, the unconscious is the real psychic, its inner nature is just as unknown to us as the reality of the external world, and it is just as imperfectly reported to us through the data of consciousness as is the external world through the indications of our sensory organs. It is not so much that man is a herd animal, but that he is a horde animal led by a chief. Sigmund Freud In the development of mankind as a whole, just as in individuals, love alone acts as the civilizing factor in the sense that it brings a change from egoism to altruism. It could be ventured to understand obsessive-compulsive neurosis as the pathological counterpart of religious development, to define neurosis as an individual religiosity, to define religion as a universal obsessive-compulsive neurosis. In almost every place where we find totems we also find a law against persons of the same totem having sexual relations with one another and consequently against their marrying. This, then, is exogamy, an institution related to totemism. 
Life as we find it is too hard for us, it entails too much pain, too many disappointments, impossible tasks. We cannot do without palliative remedies.